Oh, I love Palfinger and um, it's sort of become my life and that's the thing that drives me and I don't want to retire because I love what I do. I'm celebrating 45 years with the Palfinger product. The first crane was sold in Australia in 1977. And I know the serial number was 776511. <laughs> we, in the old days, we didn't have too many uh, regulations. And so the first cranes were quite simple and basic. But then in 2004, we had new standards brought in, which brought us into line with Pelfinger in Europe. Um, the people in Australia um, uh, don't look after their cranes as good as they do up here. They seem to treat them quite roughly uh, and if something goes wrong it's not their problem. They find that it's the, the crane's problem so it's it's really difficult at times when this when something goes wrong. It's sort of like a family. Pelfinger and the dealers. We're like a big family and that's really important and that makes it more easy to do our work and to solve problems and to be successful. There is more because it's, it is a family but the spirit is that we, you know, we become personal friends with the contacts that we deal with on a regular basis. You know, there's times when we don't agree but we can always get on afterwards and, and solve the problems. No, look, there's so many, you know, like being involved in the first sale was very, um, very good. And I think seeing the company and the product grow in Australia, you know, we've been the um, number one for many years. Uh, the competition is quite severe, but we do get through it through the uh, relationships at Palfinger and um, the way we do business. Well, for sure, I'll have a schnitzel uh, <laughs> and some beers, but, you know, the celebration started as soon as I got on the plane to come here. It's a, it's a joy and a pleasure to visit Austria and to be with the Palfinger team.